welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a review on one of my absolute favorite deep conditioners. A lot of you guys have been asking me to test this for you in live time so you guys can see how it works in my hair. And now that it's about that time for wash day, I figured why not? My curls actually do not look that bad. So for those of you who have been watching my videos, this is still my my L hair. I have not washed my hair, I have not refreshed, but I have been going to the gym, which is why there's a lot of frizz going, but amongst the frizz, can we take a moment for the definition? Do you guys see this? Like, it's not even that bad, but my scalp feels so dry, my hair just feels, feels soft, but it feels like it needs to be moisturized again. So I figured today would be the best day to test out some products that I purchased on Black Friday. We are gonna be reviewing the Mish Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner, and we also are gonna be using my steamer. I was called out by some of you, and I'm very grateful for that because I read a few places that you should be using a plastic cap when you get into a steamer. But shout out to you guys who called me out. We are gonna be reusing it again, and we're gonna be testing it out with this deep conditioner. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Noelia, and I talk about all things curly, beauty, and sometimes a little bit of lifestyle. And before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the alerts so you don't miss another video. Also, I'm gonna attach my social handles so you guys can follow me on there as well. I post a ton of curly content, so go check me out. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, so my hair is freshly shampooed and we are ready to deep condition. So like I said in the beginning of this video, we will be using the Mish Indulge Deep Conditioner. I just got this in the mail. I ordered it on Black Friday. I've been contemplating, not contemplating because I knew I was gonna order from Mish, but I've just been waiting off and I don't know why, but I'm super happy that I waited for Black Friday because she dropped some bomb products. So I'm super excited to show you guys the rest of them, but you guys have been wanting to learn more about this one. So I decided to go with the 16 ounce bottle. They do have, I believe an eight ounce and a 16 ounce, but I do love this deep conditioner. So I figured I might as well go big or go home because you already know. So this is the product, the consistency. She's pretty thick, but still creamy at the same time. Which we love to see. She smells amazing. It smells like Candyland. It smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna split our hair in half. And I'm gonna take about this much and apply it to the perimeter of each section. I have been doing this a lot more lately than dividing my sections, because I've been finding that if the product is thick enough, then it's easier to just do half sections. If I do need to separate my hair, I will but I can just feel it out once I brush it in. Took a little more. So make sure that this is saturated. The slip in this product is unreal. So soft on my hair. Like you can see how my hair is reacting to it already. I haven't even brushed it through. Let's do that. This is absolutely, probably, one of my absolute favorite masks. Look how it works in my hair. I was just working through my, I didn't even apply that much. Look at this. My hair is thriving. It loves it, loves it, loves it. I'm gonna divide my hair into sections, not like super small sections, but I'll go ahead and divide it just to make sure that all the products gets into my hair. Just apply it to this side first. I am excited to steam my hair today, especially with such a moisturizing product like this one. I'm actually super duper excited. I did pick up another Mish mask. It's one of their limited edition ones. I believe it's their pumpkin spice mask. So I will be reviewing that for you guys as well. Okay, so I'm gonna divide my hair and just add it to the rest of my hair. Okay, you guys, so I just evenly distributed this product throughout my hair. Can we take a moment for this? So freaking hydrating, guys. And I haven't even sat under the steamer yet, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna do two little space buns. 
they don't have to be perfect but since like i said in the beginning of this video since i didn't sit under the steamer with out the plastic cap i'm gonna do that today give it a shot and see how it works with my hair and this way when my hair is in little space buns it actually reaches the steam versus when it's in a low bun it doesn't really reach the steam so i'm looking forward to seeing how my curls turn out this area right here is my driest area the center so i like to take the time and add hella deep conditioner to that area. Really excited to see what this steamer combo is about to look like because this is already very moisturizing on its own, but if it's being worked into my hair with a steamer, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and I'll be right back. Steaming. Let's see how my curls look. Ooh, they feel so soft. And oh, we love it here. Curls look so hydrated. And it literally drank up all this deep conditioner. Look at this. Look at these clumps. I honestly feel like this steamer is going to change the game when it comes to my deep conditioning routine because, I mean, honestly, this. My hair feels super soft, feels hydrated, feels moisturized. Doesn't feel like it always feels when I deep condition. This just feels different. And look at my shrinkage. My curls like shrunk. And we love to see it. And look at these clumps. Let's take a moment, like, what? I'm wondering if this has anything to do with the way my hair has been styling lately. So I'm gonna style my hair today and see if it feels any different, but my last wash and go was everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and then tell you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so this is my hair fully styled after deep conditioning. So my experience with deep conditioning with the steamer this time, I felt a significant difference as to the moisture in my hair. Like I said in the beginning of the video, when I posted my first impression on my steamer when I first arrived, I had a few people comment and say, hey girl, like you're not supposed to use a plastic cap. It defeats the purpose if you use a plastic cap. So I didn't know that. I did research and when I went to the Diva Curl Salon a long, long time ago for a few of my Diva cuts, I do remember that I did sit under a steamer and they had a plastic cap in my hair. So I don't know, I just feel people do different things, but I totally understand and it does make a thousand percent sense as to why anyone would use it with the cap off. So that was my bad and thank you guys for commenting on that post and letting me know because of course, if I'm doing something wrong, I want you guys to tell me because just like you, I'm learning along the way too. There's a lot of things of course that I have experience on, but there are a lot of things that I'm learning as well. So. Feel free to always jump in if there's something that you see that I'm doing wrong or something that you think I can improve on. I'm super open to that. One thing I will say is if you've thought about trying Mish, the one thing I will 1000% say that you need is that deep conditioner. The Indulge deep conditioner is unlike any deep conditioner that I've used. Not only does it smell amazing, but my hair thrives when it uses that deep conditioner. It just drinks it up. It just leaves my curls so moisturized. As you guys saw when I unraveled my little space buns, I actually styled my hair using some Mish products too. So you guys will be able to see that. I believe this video is going to, yes, this video is definitely gonna go up before I show you guys the styling routine. So keep your eye on that video. Yeah, these are my results. My hair just feels so soft and I just feel like maybe doing the steaming is helping my hair absorb product a lot better. I know it took me a while to think about that. I do feel like maybe steaming is allowing products to work better throughout my hair because this is the second wash and go I've done while steaming my hair and can we take a moment? The definition, the shine, the moisture. 
I don't know. But I am going to keep bringing you guys along with me during my steaming journey. As I try different deep conditioners, of course, I will bring you guys along with me. But yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.